Okay, this is how to replace the changeover hose on a DC Dyson DC40. Take off, you're gonna wanna start by taking off the cyclone assembly and the nozzle assembly. Okay, then you're going to take the filter cover off. And both ball shells are actually coming off for this repair. So you're going to use some needle nose pliers to stick into any of these two holes, the op opposite holes side. And then you're going to hold the ball while you twist. And then you can just pull it straight up. And then you can look and you'll see two notches. And I use my needle nose and then I'm going to unscrew this. Once you get it loose, Sometimes it's easier to use a flathead. Okay. okay, now that gives us access to the changeover um, assembly. And then we're going to remove we're going to remove the uh, filter uh, the filter the filter piece piece the filter latches into. I'm not sure what it calls. What's it called? What it's called. Jumbled here. Okay, and then we're gonna take off the um, the screw here, which actually holds the um, it holds the changeover uh, assembly inside into there. Just a little plastic holder piece, little retainer retainer. I'll take that out, and then I'm gonna take out these uh, two screws here because that's what the spring for the changeover assembly is held to just makes it a little easier I think so and if you <clears throat> take this apart you're less likely to break the uh, the plastic parts where the spring latches onto okay so now I've got everything loose on this side we're gonna flip it over here and we're going to go in and unscrew these pieces here. Let's see, this is a T8 Torx 8. So it's a little, it could be a 9. I think it's an 8. A 9 kind of fits in there, but not all the way. An 8 works the best. So we got. A short one down here um, that I just took down there and then you hit it back so you can now see uh, so you can get access to this one this one has a plastic washer and then you've got one more right here and that's a long one plastic washer so the long one goes right in here and then you can see our cover here came right out it was just like it was just like this okay So this comes out and then I've got now that uncovers one screw on this side you can see it it uncovers one screw right here so there's actually four screws that hold this in this assembly in and they're all different a little bit different and this pulls out now keep an eye on which side the short side is. So when you get your new part, you can install it exactly the correct way. So I know that it's gonna go in with the short part on this side.
And then when it's locked up right. I'm going to put the small screw back in. And I'm going to slide this assembly back in. Flip it over. And then I've got this screw. This is the shorter. Actually, they're both the same but it's a plastic, it's a screw with a plastic washer. And I'm gonna hand screw these in because they're small screws. You can strip these out pretty easily with a pneumatic. Alright, the last one's going to go right down in there. Okay, flip it back over. Make sure we're, our, uh, we're working properly. I'm going to go ahead and fasten this, this spring holder in place and get those screws in. Okay, now I'm going to put my holder retainer back in, screw that in. Okay, and then we're going to just test it. You have to hit it pretty firmly with your hand in order to disengage the lock, but you can see it's articulating back and forth from floor to hose. So and then you're just going to reverse order, put it back together. This is uh, this filter holder part only goes in one way. two washers. Tighten that down, let's put this back in place, lock it, clear the clog. Filter back in place, filter cover on, and there you go.